All right, gang. <clears throat> we are here to uh, partake of the brand new Indiana Jones 5 trailer to find out if I can hold my vomit in or not. <laughs> Oh, man. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's one of those wherever you're at. This is Pop Culture Rocks, and man, you know who I am. Let's get to this, and you can watch it with me. And hopefully we don't get all struck and banned and, and channel banned and all of that shit. I'll stop it if I feel like there's something that uh, needs to be said. <laughs> I'm retiring. Well, in that case, what are we drinking? Same for the goddaughter. Dad told me you found something on a train during a war. A dial that could change the course of history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? Don't move. We need to get out of here. Stop! Sorry. Helena! Okay. Uh, already, it's Indiana Jones being taken out of Indiana Jones. Let's uh, let's continue on. Yeah, let's continue on. Not not loving this. Not loving this. Doctor Jones, get him. Hitler made mistakes, and with this, I will correct them all. You stole it. Then you stole it. And then I stole it. It's called capitalism. Okay. Uh, you are you know what you're gonna get right there. They stole, they stole, they stole. It's called capitalism. You already know what this movie is gonna be just by that. It's gonna be shit. It's gonna be shit. It's more of this fucking ridiculous Marxist communist uh, dog water that uh, they expect you to carry the bucket for. They expect you to carry the bucket for this this shit. So it's sort of like watching the uh, the Blue Beetle trailer, and at the very end, Batman's a fascist. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that too. Uh, and that's why I won't be going anywhere to see the Blue Beetle. I'll catch it on the high seas or somebody will send me a copy of it or whatever. But I'm not paying a fucking cent for it. I, I'm not paying to have somebody dick whip me right in the face. Just no thanks. Not even behind my back. Not even an anonymous dick whip. No thanks. I'm just, no. Uh, no. No and no. So let's let's finish it up. There might be some tablets. You've taken your chances, made your mistakes, and now a final triumph. Did they give him hell, Indiana Jones? A few times in my life I've seen things. I've been tortured with voodoo. I've been shot nine times, including once by your father. Ah, sorry. But I've been looking for this all my life. Are you getting goosebumps? Are you getting chills? I'm not. I'll tell you exactly what I feel right now. I feel a sense of loss and sadness. That's what I feel. I remember when I went to the theaters, very young, not real young, but very young, and 
And I saw Raiders of the Lost Ark. I actually saw it on the recommendation of my mother. She said that she thought that it would be great. And at that point in time, I was familiar with like Star Trek and Star Wars and things of that nature. Raiders of the Lost Ark didn't sound like it would be good. It was one of the first lessons that I learned in life about movie titles is that just because the title doesn't really sound great doesn't mean that the movie won't be. And it turned out to be one of my favorite movies ever. <clears throat> has a tremendous amount of li personal like. I love the idea of archaeology. I don't know if I'd like the practice of archaeology, but I love the idea uh, of archaeology and what goes into it and figuring out the things that we have lost over time, the things that have been subdued from us over time. That's That's something that obviously has to come to mind. It hasn't all been lost to the sands of time, so to speak. A lot of it has been dropped intentionally. A lot of it has been pushed out of the public eye. A lot of it has been obfuscated. A lot of it has been stolen and covered up. Unfortunate, isn't it? It's unfortunate. And we call it archaeology today. It really should be a crime scene for all of history. But um, yeah, human beings just don't operate like that yet. Hopefully someday we will. This does not look good to me. Um, it this does not look good to me at all. The you know even knowing what's behind it, I I couldn't muster any good feelings for this simply because I know that this has got Kathleen Kennedy's dirty little claws all over it, and for some strange reason, Kathleen Kennedy fucking hates George Lucas. She hates George Lucas, probably because he's a man. You know, she wants to show that she was more than just a coffee getter, a gopher, when she had her producer name all over shit. Did Kathy Kennedy have some good ideas? Probably. Probably. It would be nice to know which ideas were hers, which ideas were Lucas's, which ideas were Spielberg's, all of the other shit that she's got her, her hands on. But, uh... This movie doesn't look good to me. It it looks just sad. It looks sad. And uh, the de-aged Harrison Ford uh, kind of gets it a little bit, but yeah, it doesn't look great, guys. It doesn't look good. I don't have a lot of hope for Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny. Uh, if this goes into the shit that people were talking about and have been talking about. If Indiana Jones is killed off in this and doesn't go to his retirement, uh, I, I think you can already kiss the franchise goodbye, but it, in any way of reviving it is, is dead. You know, is dead. It's probably already dead, but I guess we'll see down the road. Uh, but for right now, unless I see something different, uh, the Dial of Destiny is DOA. It's a no-go, and it's a sad thing to watch Harrison Ford go out like this. You know, I mean, I, I don't know what it is about Harrison Ford. Like with Star Wars, all just insisting on killing off Han Solo. It's, it's almost like Star Wars launched him into the stratosphere, and he was ashamed of the launching pad. It was very strange, very strange behavior. That's too bad. Too bad. You'd figure there'd be some fucking gratitude for everything that that character did for him. But, uh, yeah. The only thing that I've seen him in that I actually thought that he was reasonably respectable in here of late was uh, the second uh, Blade Runner movie. That was it. So, yeah. Enjoy, guys. I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one.